You can be way more productive if you use Firefox multi-account containers. If you've got lots of credentials for like the same software, let's say you're an accountant and you log into Xero and you've got loads of credentials for different clients or you're maybe a marketing firm and you've got lots of credentials for HubSpot. So you're logging into HubSpot over and over again. Or like me, I'm a, I'm a techie. So I log into Microsoft's portals, Azure and Office 365 over and over again for lots of clients. Then you'll know what I'm talking about when I say there's a good chance you've got lots of browsers. So maybe you have Edge and Chrome and Opera and you've got them open in private windows and all sorts. So you can separate those security contexts and you can keep those tenants or portals open so you can work on lots of clients at once without closing the portal down so you can maintain where you left off. If that's you, then stick with me. I'll show you how to solve that headache with the Firefox multi-account container apps. Let's just dive into it. So I'm over here on an almost blank machine. It's basically just got a bunch of browsers. But if I open Edge and I've already logged in here in my day-to-day -day personal account, let's say, and now I've got a let's say a ticket or a call come in for, from a client and I need to log into one of the Microsoft portals. So let's say that's that's Azure in my example, in my world. So I'll go to portal.azure.com because I need to fix their, their problem. And because I'm using the same browser, what happens is I'm automatically logged in in the same context if I'm using another tab or even another instance of, of Edge. So what happens is of course I open Chrome and I'll go to portal.azure.com and if I can actually spell it correctly, portal.azure.com. And it's, I'm not logged in. So it gives me the opportunity now to use another account and I can go ahead and log in as something separate. And of course, if you're familiar with this problem, you know that it gets unruly very quickly. If you've got more than say three or four or five clients that you're working on at the same time, uh, what happens is you end up with a mess along the bottom of your task taskbar here. And you have to try and remember the order of the browsers. And when you have other applications open, it gets very difficult to follow. So let's take a quick look at the solution. We've got Firefox already installed here and I've already gone to the right place, but you can just Google Firefox containers and look for the, if I should actually just show you. So Firefox containers. You wanna go for the get extension, okay? So go to the get extension and add it to Firefox and just accept. The, the pop-up, so add that. Firefox has a bit of an annoying thing where I've installed, installed this extension, but it's not visible in my taskbar. Sometimes it adds it and sometimes it doesn't. If you're in this situation, click on the little jigsaw piece. Don't click on the cog, right click on the extension and then pin that to the toolbar and that will bring it to be always visible in your toolbar. So if I now just follow the click, click through the wizards here to get started, don't really care much about it. For the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna sync it, but what you can do is uh, create an account and sign in so you can sync your, your bookmarks and containers and such across different different devices. I highly recommend it in a, in a real life situation, but just for this demo, we're gonna skip this. Okay, cool. So it gives us some example containers out of the box, personal, work, banking, shopping. That is not what I'm gonna use this for. So I'm just gonna go into manage containers and immediately I just wanna either bin those off or rename them. So because I've got some clients, I'm just gonna go ahead and rename them. So let's call this client uh, Gitch, which is like, which is my cat's name. That's one container sorted. Cool, so I'm just gonna rename this one. So instead of like work personal, I'm just gonna say that this is my hybrid account. And this will be, I've got a separate account for a hybrid demo account. And let's say, I don't need that one. Okay. And later on, I might come along and have new client, whatever their name is. So I'll say Bob's Builders, they're a new client. So I'll create a new thing for that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and, and log into a couple of these containers. So if I click the back here, can see that the containers are, are stored there. And if I wanna open a new container for this account, I get this little color coded thing across the top. And that's opened, essentially this container is almost a browser unto itself. It's like opening a private browser window that doesn't get affected by the other containers or the non-container browsing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this along in the edit and sign into each container so, you can, so I can demonstrate the benefit here. So bear with me while I quickly type in all these credentials.
Okay, so I've logged into all my containers with some credentials and I actually created a new container there because I had some more credentials to use. And I wanted to point out one thing. So when I created my new container, for my New Zealand instance of, of Hybrid, I created a blue container. So if I am working on Bob's Builders tenant, and I'm also working on Hybrid NZ and they're common ones that I use, that's gonna get a bit confusing with the same color tab color coding. So I can just come in here and manage my containers, go to the Hybrid NZ container, and let's say that's gonna be a nice save pink. Cool. And that just really helps me differentiate. So we've got it basically set up. Now the cool thing here is if I open a new tab that's not a container and log in, any, in anywhere, none of the containers become aware of those security contexts or the forms that get saved. But if I now close out of Firefox, and I can close all these other browsers because I don't really need them. If I reopen Firefox and I want to, let's not set that as the primary just now, and I want to go to my demo tenant and I go to portal.azure.com. That container, the context that I've previously used is remembered. So if I don't use the container for a certain amount of time, Microsoft will sign me out and I'll have to sign back in and go through the multi-factor authentication and all that. But if I then get a piece of work come in for, let's say Gitch here, and I go back to Azure, then what happens is it, it signs me in with the context and I now only have to have this one browser open. So I can get rid of Opera because I hate Opera. And I can unpin that and I would uninstall it probably. But the one other thing I wanted to point out that's great about having, say I'm logged in here with, with a different context than over here. But the one great thing that I wanted to point out is there's not it's not necessary to shift your browser. So we don't have to give up on Edge or Chrome if that's your preference. So what I'm suggesting or what I do is I've just moved my work to Firefox and then it frees up any of the clutter for, from Chrome so I can use this as my day-to-day -day browser where I do my emails, where I work on my documents, the stuff that's personal to my normal account and all my work account has now shifted over to Firefox containers. That's all I wanted to cover today. I just really hope that helps someone in, or like helps improve your workflows. Until the next one, cheers.